Getting your keyword search to deliver the right results can be a challenge. If you don't get the results you were hoping for first time, don't worry, you're not alone. Here are our tips for troubleshooting when you search if you are getting too few results, too many, or irrelevant results. What can you do if you have too few results, or none at all? First of all, try different keywords. You can include alternative keywords in your search by combining your terms with the word or. For example, by searching for television or TV, you can broaden the scope of your search to include either or both of those terms. You could also try using truncation. Truncation means replacing the word ending with an asterisk or star symbol, in order to pick up all possible endings to that word. If your search were about advertising to teenagers, you could type in teenager asterisk to pick up both teenager and teenagers in the same search and advert asterisk to pick up advert, adverts, advertising and so on. It could be that the database or search engine that you are using just doesn't have the right coverage for your topic. Take a look at your subject database page on the library website for more inspiration. That's library.leads.ac.uk forward slash subjects. Don't forget to check your spelling too, it can make all the difference. So what if you have too many results, or they are just not relevant to your topic? If this happens, you might need to try more specific keywords, such as Instagram instead of social media. You can add another concept to your search by combining your keywords with AND, for example, searching for children and social media will narrow your results down to those containing both terms. If you are searching for a phrase of two words or more, such as climate change, put double quotation marks around the phrase. This means that the database will look for those words in that exact order. Most databases and search engines allow you to apply limits, such as date and language, to your search to further refine your results. So, if you've found the results you expected, what next? If you want to make sure your search is really comprehensive, try a different database and compare your results. If you've found a great article or book, look at the bibliography for further ideas about what you could read, or search for the author's name to see what else they have written. For more recent information on the same topic, you could also check to see if your article has been cited by other authors. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information about searching, please go to the library website.